so got some good news here so an iconic trail angel by it that goes by the name fresh grounds is right down here at the road good morning day 77 on the trail just climbing out of uh the uh winston gap where we stayed at uh Bryant Ridge Shelter last night. I took a couple of photos of the shelter. Uh, it was a really cool place. Uh, but anyway, yep, back on trail. We got a big climb this morning. It's about <laughs> five miles up. So I think I'm, as you can tell by my breathing, uh, it's a pretty steep one. And I'm got about a mile into it. Coming up on this little flat area, which would be nice. I'll probably take a break here. Sun's coming up a few minutes after seven. Beautiful morning. Uh, I think it's supposed to get up to around 70 today. So probably gonna be a lot like yesterday. But anyway, we are, uh, let's see, I think we're Headed toward that mountain over there, one of those guys. So that's where we'll top out at. So we're just working our way around to it. Anyway, yeah, so it's gonna be a gorgeous day. So hopefully we'll get some really nice views. I know we have a couple of overlooks that were marked on the far out app. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be a shorter day, too. I think it's only like 14 miles. So, that'll be nice. And then, uh, yeah, tomorrow we just have 12. And we'll get picked up for a Nero. So, yeah, next couple of days, mileage-wise, they're looking pretty good. Not, not too many big mile days. So, which is nice. It's good to give the body a little bit of a rest uh, after especially doing those 18 milers. But uh, okay, here we go. Uh, good morning and uh, stay tuned. See you down the trail. Hey, good morning. Just stopped for a little breakfast break. A little tortilla with some peanut butter. Sitting here at the, uh, this is Cornelius Creek Shelter in uh, Jefferson National Forest. So you can see nobody's here. I guess everybody left this morning. I'm sure there was a few camping last night sleeping here. But uh, yeah, just stopped for a little break and I'm gonna get back on the trail shortly. Uh, all right, and it's uh, shaping up to be a gorgeous day. So we should get some uh, really nice pics, uh, some nice views uh, later on. All right, see you down the trail. Well, while I'm sitting here filtering water, uh, I thought I'd mention my latest uh, gear enhancing uh, item uh, items, I guess you'd say. That's these colorful uh, tie-dye gaiters that I picked up in Damascus a couple week weeks ago. Uh, so the thing about gaiters, if you're not familiar with them, is uh, basically they keep, you know, little roots, rocks, twigs, little annoying things from flying in your shoe or your boots uh, they make a big difference because you're out there during the course of the day you're walking eight ten hours a day uh, and you can imagine always getting a twig or a little piece of gravel or something that flies up and gets down your shoe uh, and then you got to stop take off your pack uh, take off your shoe it becomes quite uh, a pain especially if you have to do that two or three times a day so uh, pick these up like i say in damascus at an outfitter people make these are a company called dirty girl and uh i've been looking for them a lot of folks on the trail wear them uh and uh recommend them and they had them at the outfitters there all they had of course was this tie-dye uh, pattern, a couple different ones, but I'm sure online they have different patterns. Uh, but yeah, they're, uh, they've been great. Uh, super, uh, very glad I bought them. And, uh, they've really, uh, 
helped with uh, reducing stuff, getting in my shoes and uh, as I walk throughout the day. Anyway, yep, just sitting here enjoying the day. I uh, just had my uh, tor uh, tortilla uh, with peanut butter and realized I need a little water. So we got a nice little source right here. Uh, nice spring and uh, so it's flowing nicely and you're going to top off these bottles and we'll get back on trail. All right. All right. I told you we we're going to get a, a nice uh, overlook view today. So this morning we came across Black Rock Overview. That's beautiful. All right. Okay, we made it up here to the very top of Old Orchard Mountain. Not sure what that is. I mean, obviously, uh, a satellite dish, maybe for tracking aircraft. I'm not sure, it looks like there's some vehicles over there, there's some maintenance people, but we have a little bit of a view up here. It's kind of hazy, but, uh, all right, and there's the trail I just came from, and, oh, It's, uh, you got a 360 degree view. Just, uh, like I said, it's a little hazy. And then the, uh, yeah, the tower, or the radome, I guess it's just radar, maybe for aircraft. Anyway, it's kind of right. cool. Another beautiful view this afternoon. Wow. So uh, these beautiful flowers, I was told, are known as trillium. Trillium. They're gorgeous. Hey, good afternoon. It's uh, almost three o'clock. So, got some good news here. So, an iconic trail angel by, that goes by the name Fresh Grounds is right down here at the road. And he goes up and down the entire AT uh, feeding hikers. So, he just happens to be parked right down here at uh, one of the little intersections here off the parkway. So, another hiker just told me uh, that he's sitting down here. And uh, that's awesome. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned. We'll hopefully, we'll get some footage of myself with fresh, fresh grounds. All right. Here fresh go. grounds is a van. Uh, we puts on this awesome spread. I got another, this is my second plate of food. Got another hiker over there making a call. He's just eating. And uh, we got fresh chicken noodle soup going on. Like I say, this guy is the ultimate trail angel for through hikers. So uh, this is his van. He travels up and down uh, the highway uh, all along the AT. So, all right, we'll get a shot of him here in a little bit. Hiking through a uh, burnout section. 
You can really smell it too. Not sure when this happened. But you can you can smell it. It smells pretty fresh. Hmm. Goodness. Yeah, I don't know if this video does it justice how how devastating it looks. Charred, burned out. Alright. Hey, so this is a wrap up on uh, day 77. I uh, ran into fresh grounds. Uh, that was awesome. I don't know if I'll get to see him again. Uh, so uh, the fact that I got to experience him one time, I ended up eating two grilled cheese sa sandwiches, his legendary grilled cheese sandwiches, two cups of chicken noodle soup, and two salads, So and an apple. So I loaded up. So thanks again, fresh grounds. Really appreciate it. I uh, hope to see you down the trail again. So anyway, that's a wrap for today. Got the tent set up here. Uh, I'm in the Marble Springs Gap. Uh, it's kind of a, not a bad little place. Uh, a bunch of uh, wood down, plenty of firewood, but uh, it's pretty calm here right now. I'm gonna get some wind tonight. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, we're going into uh, Stanimals. It's a uh, hostel tomorrow, myself and Radar. So anyway, going to get a night's sleep and uh, eat a little. Actually, I'm not going to eat anything. I'm just going to fix some uh, something to drink uh, and then get ready for bed. I am plenty full uh, thanks to Fresh Grounds. All right. Good night, everybody. So in case uh, you're not sure, Fresh Grounds, uh, that's his trail name. Uh, yeah, uh, Trail Angel, uh, and he goes by the trail name Fresh Grounds. So, anyway, good night.